Hi, it's Joe Lyons from The Automator. Today I'm going to cover how you can protect your program, or said differently, how to stop someone else from stealing your script. Uh, I'm going to start off by showing you just how easy it is to peek inside a compiled AutoHotKey script, and then I'm going to show you various ways that you can protect your compiled scripts and stop people from easily peeking inside. Let's get going. A user wrote me the other day asking, Hey Automator, how can I best protect my script? Now, I'm not trying to say that this is the person that wrote me. However, you know, if this was the person who wrote me, I'd be much more interested in answering the question. So I'd like to give myself a little help. Uh, let's dive into here. How do we best protect scripts and stop people from being able to just rip them out? All right, to start off, we're gonna first go through compiling scripts in different ways, just so then later we can group them all together and look at all compile, how to compile them, and then how to try to decompile them and see what we can see in a couple of decompilers that we have. Uh, so we're gonna start off right-clicking. Uh, let's just go ahead and do it here. We're gonna right-click on the script. So here I am. Now this script here, uh, we just have, a, a, I store some stuff into a variable, display the message box, create another object, and loop over it, right? So it's nothing special. The top here are resources that I'm going to put in the description here that, that if you're interested in this kind of stuff, you might want these. Um, so we're going to, normally, this is how I compile. Or if I'm in Studio, I'll, I'll tell it to compile there. But I'm going to say right-click, compile a script. Now that is just going to automatically create an executable, you know, in that folder with the same name. And since this was done from the Explorer shell, we'll just right-click. I'm going to call it right-click. Right click. So um, that was the right click. You know, we just compiled it from there. Now, if you're running AutoHotKey L, and I think even the generic version as well, uh, you have a folder when you install it called Compiler, and in it is going to be this AHK2EXE program, right? This is a great way to be able to compile scripts and add pictures and do some other stuff. Um, you kick it off here. Come on. There we go. Um, it's going to ask for the browse the, the script path. Let's get the, uh, here's the script path. I just copied the path to my clipboard so I can put it in there, paste, okay. Um, now we're going to use, you can compress it in two ways, with either Impress or you can compress it with UPX. Now you need to download these executables. Here you'll see I have a UPX.exe and an Impress.exe. Um, this UPX EXE, I think that's the 64-bit version. I forget, I tested both. Um, we're only going to test one just because it, it, they both work the same. But um, I just want to demonstrate how to do it. So in this one... We're going to create, the, we'll use the compression, uh, compress the SE with impress. Um, and so destination, let's leave it here. Um, and then let's put impress dash m press. Save. And I'm going to hit convert. And with any luck, conversion complete. And. Let's see here. Okay, so there's our this one we just did. Now let's just basically repeat the same thing, but we're gonna change this to UPX and change this. We'll call it this and then change this to UPX. And hit convert. You know, actually, I just thought of something. Let's go ahead and we're gonna save the last one um, to do separately. So Let's, we're done co compiling with this a 2 e h key e x e whatever the world I was supposed to just say, um, which is fine. And now we're going to launch our decompilers. Now I have, um, that's what the, this one here is with payload. Uh, and there's another one called, uh, this one, resource hacker. So, oh, first off, actually, let's, let's show, I forgot the very first one, right, is, hey, can you just peek inside it with, uh, you know, with Studio or with, uh, let's let's use Site so we keep them separate here. Peek inside of our script, uh, we're going to drag this right-click EXE to here, um, and we start scrolling. Now let's just let's just look for, um, and look here, line seven thousand five hundred thirty. Look, this is basically um, if we come back to Studio, uh, that is my script, right? That's what's here. Um, now, notice you do lose the comments, so, uh, of course, the person hacking your script isn't really going to care about that. But they can easily peek inside, right, and get get your, your um, right up to here, right? So this is, you can copy this, come back into here, paste. Look, that's, that's it, right? That's the script. So just compiling it. Hey, you prevent some people, right? And, and the other thing I really want to emphasize is no matter what you do, it's never going to be 100%, you know, lockdown. 
right? Uh, that's just the way it is. So that is just when you just right click in, you know, de um, don't even decompile. I just brought it into the site just to peek inside and there it is, right? Uh, what if we had used the, uh, um, what if we do this with the, uh, we did impress first, so let's do it here. Brent, drag it into here. Now let's find um, the dash auto. Inconceivable! Hey, it's not there, right? Let's uh, scroll down. And theoretically, know we're in here. We should be able to see, see that available, right? Oh, well, there's a little of this stuff, but that's not the actual script, right? So yeah, that, hey, we got past the first sniff test. I can't just open it with an editor like I did in the other tool, right? Um, and if we do the same thing with the UPX, we'll have, I believe, the same results. So I'm gonna drag it into here, find... Inconceivable! Yeah, can't find it. So let's, let's launch our first decompiler. Um, let's use the, uh, let's use the resource hacker tool. I thought I had a shortcut to it here, but um, I guess I had that in my other uh, folder. Things in front of my screen here. So there we go. Resource Hacker. I'll launch it. All right. So this is Resource Hacker and I'll give you the link to download it. So let's come into here and drag the impress into here. All right. Now, First off, it's a little confusing, right? What you gotta learn is you go into this RC data and under RC data, the question is, can you see anything? And it looks like with Impress, um, that actually locked it down from this tool. Uh, let's try it with the UPX version. So there's Impress and X, RC data. So it's locked down for, for a resource hacker. Um, you can't easily peek in there. Let you know what, just so you can see it. Let's say if I right click and drag this into here, you'll see what I was, my point is. So see how this, you can peek right inside. There it is. Uh, it's even cleaner. It just isolates it and gives you just that, right? So very quick and easy to peek inside with resource hacker on a, a compiled auto hockey script. Uh, but if someone has used either the X, a UPX or impress, you can't easily peek inside. However, we have another tool uh, it's actually written in AutoHotKey from, uh, is it Isnol, I think? Um, let me go ahead and launch it. Which, all right, well, I have it in Studio. Um, decompiler, so. Um, I, this is his script. I, I don't know why he made it very, the GUI very small. My GUI is just a little bit bigger, and I made the text a little easier to read. Um, so, let's first bring in our right click executable and take a look how it does oh look yep here's here's our script right let's bring in impress drag it in look at that it just hacked impress no problem there's there's my script it even it's even telling you what version you're using which is another really good secret by the way, you know, don't be like me and and do all these videos in auto hotkey and then hope that no one knows, you know, what how your script is compiled, what language is behind it, right? If you truly want to have your code secure, you know, publish it in a different way that people don't know that you know that, that's the the main scripting language you work in because that's the first thing that they'll do is understand that. So that was impress. Let's do UPX. Now UPX also this. This HK decompiler, right, just cracked that thing like a nut. So none of these things that we've done so far are secure, right? Someone easily could drag, uh, you know, have this script and peek inside, even if you've compressed it uh, with UPX or uh, Impress. Now, having said that, uh, we did a webinar with Hotkey it using Auto Hotkey H. And now he, in the webinar, this was the big thing, like he covered how to build it all from scratch and how to set your password and everything that was really, really complicated. Um, I, I wish you well, if you want to go that route, it, not that I'm not knocking it, but I'm like, wow, it was complicated. So let's, let's go ahead and close this, uh, actually we'll leave the decompiler open. We'll just move it out of the way for now. Um, so let me copy this here just, or, you know, I'll just launch it cause I have a shortcut here to the folder. Um, and now, um, this again, uh, you're going to have the URL to it up above this, uh, oh, that's, this is the wrong script. Sorry. Uh, there we go. 
So you can get it right here. This is where, um, even if you don't use AutoHotKey H for everything, use it to compile your scripts, right? It's very compatible with the normal version of AutoHotKey, so that normally shouldn't be a problem. Um, so you, you can get this um, AHK2EXE, you know, from hotkey, AutoHotKey H, and I'm gonna run their, that version of it. So here, I just, yeah, run anyway. All right, so here, um, now we're running, see the H, right? We're running, this is the HK2EXE with um, AutoHockey version H. Um, actually, the clipboard I should still have, hopefully in my path. Yeah, there we go, so I'm gonna open it. Um, destination, let's put it in the same spot, but with uh, dash H. So save it. Um, and now here I would say turn on, um, M so I have it with Impress, or it looks like UPS 8, but we'll just use Impress for example here. Um, I haven't tested this. I should, maybe we'll go ahead and do that here in a minute of setting this password. I'm not, I know before, I don't think you could do it straight away from here, but I'm gonna compile executable. Okay, it's compiled. Let's navigate back here. How do I go back? Here we go. So here's the H version. Um, let's step through it just the same way we did before. Uh, first off, let's uh, open it in site which uh, NAH here, you can, find it. Nope, you can find the automator anywhere there, or automator. Um, then we're gonna use resource hacker, right? Let's uh, drag this bad guy into resource hacker. Look under RC data. So this, yeah, good luck making some sense out of that, right? It, it looks like it added, you know, I, if I was to bet, it also adds a lot of extra stuff that makes it really hard to, to dig into, right? Uh, and that was the thing Hockey had said is like, this doesn't lock it down, you know, to the most you could protect it that he was aware of, but it is still pretty darn good. Um, so let's use our last one, the decompile script, the one that that, that actually broke uh, the other two. Uh, let me bring this back over and let's drag on the auto hotkey H there. Look at that. Could not find pattern. It couldn't hack it, right? So this is the easiest way to be able to compile your script and have it where people can't just easily peek inside, right? That does protect you far better than any other way. Um, I hope you find this really helpful. Um, in a second here, let me, uh, uh, but oh, first, do you have any questions, right? You know, please like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever you want. But uh, let me know down below what, um, you know, if you have any questions of what we just did there. Um, I, I think it's pretty straightforward overall. And, you know, auto hockey, as I said, you're, you're not locking it down to be, you know, perfectly protected, but it does make it much, much harder for someone to peek inside. And this to me is a very little known, you know, way to do it. So I hope that helps. Cheers. Hey, so I thought we'd uh, end this video with uh, a little fun um, tell me, you know, in the comments below, which one, number one, two, three, or four, do you think is, uh, this woman's husband? Um, I, I, uh, when I first saw this thing, I looked at it for a couple seconds and I'm like, oh yeah. And then uh, I got it. Uh, it was pretty quite, quite funny. I thought, cheers.